name is Tony and I started attending Dwelling Place Church in August of 2015. I grew up in church. My parents had me in church every Sunday, most Wednesdays. I was super involved in youth group um, all throughout high school. But at that time, I didn't really know what it meant to have a true relationship one-on-one -on -one with Christ. Um, I didn't get into the Word on my own. I didn't, I didn't have a prayer life with the Lord. And I really didn't understand that as a new creation in Christ that I had been made righteous. Um, and so I was trying to live a Christian life in my own efforts. And um, around my sophomore year of college is when I really started um, just spiraling downward and I made the decision to just kind of do life on my own. So I completely quit going to church. I um, started hanging out with people that didn't value the same things as I did. And um, because I had that void in my life, I started seeking to fill it with other things. So um, sexually impure relationships, I was turning to substance abuse, and I just got into a really deep depression because um, with every mistake and failure I made, I knew I wasn't living the life that God had called me to live. So my sister was my roommate in college and at the time she was um, attending a college ministry. This is probably about five to six years after I made the decision to just do life on my own. And they had an all night prayer function one night. Um, that night changed everything um, it was during communion that the Lord just opened my eyes to his love for me and he showed me that he has always been there through everything for six years of me not following him he was still there for me and he was just waiting for me to come back to him and when I realized that um, and really saw the sacrifice that he made for me and that regardless of what I'd done, that he still loved me and had a life for me. He, he, in that moment, he told me that that I hadn't gone too far away from him, that I hadn't messed up too bad for him to turn my life around, that he still desired to use that. And when I realized that, I was like, you know what, I can't go to anything anymore. Like when I saw God's love for me and realized truly what he had done, everything else that I had sought after didn't mean anything. And from that point on, I was just like, Lord, here I am. I saw what a mess in my life that I've made trying to do it on my own. And so take it all. Take this mess and I, I want you to breathe on it. I want you to breathe on my life. And I just surrendered everything that I had and my life has changed so much ever since. After that night when I made the decision to follow the Lord and surrendered my life to Him, um, I really started giving attention in my life to the things of God and the things that He wanted me to give attention to. So a big part of me living in depression was isolation. I had successfully isolated myself from everybody in, in my life and the enemy was just having a field day with my mind and my emotions. And so immediately after that night I got involved in a small group with girls my age and um, through that, the Lord just really brought relationships into my life that were unlike anything I'd ever experienced before. There are people that I was bonded together with through the Holy Spirit that really, truly cared about me and my spiritual growth and who I was becoming as a person. And they were invested in my life. And it was, it was so amazing because you know, after I made that decision, the enemy would come and try to attack my mind and they were able to call out and truth and say, that's not the Lord, that's the enemy talking to you. And so that's why I was laughing all the times before when I would try, I would, I would try my own efforts to live right. I was, I was missing that community that would hold me together. I'm so thankful for the grace of God on my life. I'm thankful for his love and I'm thankful that he's really caused me to live again. And it's just so amazing to see the change that's happened in my life because the resurrected King has resurrected me.